handicrafts are the fashioned fruits of nature's resources. Infused with their makers' innermost feelings, their perceptions of life and their values, artifacts embody local customs and traditions. Spring Festival, the Lunar New Year homecoming celebration. It's a time when families everywhere joyfully reunite and is China's most important folk festival. Enjoying a lovingly prepared array of reunion dinner dishes is the climax of this highly anticipated event. As staples of the dinner table, bowls and chopsticks are emblematic of everything that means home to Chinese people. <laughs> Li Xuemin is a resident of Sha War village in Handan. He's an inheritor of the Sha War wooden bowl crafting technique, and this spring festival. He's very busy. Li Shermin made this replica of the traditional foot-powered lathe, specially for the World Wood Day 2018, to be held in March in Cambodia. Sha War Village is in fact an originator of China's 300-year-long handcrafted wood-turning culture. This is one of Sha War Village's earliest wood turning lathes. It has pride of place in Li Xuemin's workshop. After shaping the wood into a cylinder, Li Xuemin mounted on the wood turning lathe, whose rotating shaft is the key component. Having added beeswax, he polishes it section by section. It has taken Li Xuemin months to complete this polishing. In contrast to Li Xuemin, it's only at Spring Festival that Wang Liandao, Hangzhou resident and inheritor of the Tianju chopstick making technique, can take a few days off. His chopsticks are very much in evidence at the sumptuous family reunion dinners that epitomize this joyful festival. Wang Liandao, now in his 60s, has devoted much of his time and energy to crafting these distinctive 25 centimeter long chopsticks.
Tianzhu chopsticks are customary tableware for Hangzhou natives. Their delicate, elegant design and light bamboo fragrance are keynotes of the city's leisurely urban lifestyle and dining culture. Li Shermin knows his wood. He can gauge at a glance which type of bowl most platters a particular grain of wood and how many bowls a tree trunk will yield. It's a skill he has honed over decades. Li Shermin takes the time necessary to choose, shape and polish his wood with the clear objective of producing bowls that are both practical and pleasing to the eye and touch. A good quality skew chisel and bowl gouge are Li Shermin's primary tools. Having used one hand to shift the angle of the chisel and the other to temper his whittling of the exterior, he then uses the bowl gouge to hollow out the interior, completing the work with skill and ease. A fine wooden bowl gradually appears amid a cascade of sawdust. As spring sets in, nature regenerates. Spring festival has passed along with the cold snap of winter. Li Shermin's trip to Cambodia for World Wood Day 2018 is drawing ever closer. Look around, whispering on treetops, blossoming at our feet. The earth lives and breathes a fearless beauty that nourishes us physically and spiritually. It is now up to us to give back what we take.
In the meantime, while the weather is still cool, Wang Liandao sets off for a remote mountain bamboo grove to gather raw materials ready for when his factory reopens. The required raw material for Tianzhu chopsticks are specific lengths of one to two-year-old green, slender endocalamus canes that won't mildew for at least five years. Images of these elegant chopsticks interweave with common family memories of happy reunion dinners. The Anjul chopsticks are made from lengths of cane between the solid bamboo nodes. They retain their uppermost green layer. Each processing step reflects the patience, care and skill needed to refine an artifact. We for senior Hangzhou citizens, only Tianzhu chopsticks as timeless symbols of past eras and happy home memories can keep pace with the even greater appeal that time has added to their city. Thirty-four-year-old Tan Mei Jen's memories of her home in Guilin, Guangxi, remain fresh, even though it's been years since she was last there at Spring Festival. Tianzhu chopsticks are her livelihood, and no machine could equal her practiced eye, attesting to their equal length, girth, and flawless decorations. A pair of completed, authentic Tianzhu chopsticks has been through 20 or more processes. Having worked at the Tianzhu chopsticks factory for eight years, mother of three Mei Chen is the craft leader. Oh 
今天走出来看那个小瓦房，又想家了。家里的小瓦房也是一样的。In the city, there are many other migrant workers just like Tan Mei Jen, who spend every day, even a lifetime, working at a particular craft. It's a way of life where time goes by slowly. Over the past eight years, Tan Mei Jen has witnessed changes throughout the era and the city's development. Wang Liandao has passed on the Tianzhu chopsticks production craft to his daughter Wang Xuqiong. This is 包括我在搞天竺块也一样，那、嗯、我把书法、篆刻、那画画的是，包括杭州的人文景观一些故事，都涌进到书呃书那个天竺块里面。嗯，哎，这个天竺块就成为一种啊文化的内容。嗯、它就是它颜色是弄一个颜色，但是它。外面的这种中国风的这种图案，我觉得还是可以的，还是可以用。而且我觉得，如果说这一款等到全部都改进完以后啊，我们下一个那个就是新做的这个可以开始，可以啊，这个现在年轻人Wang Xuqiong has been influenced by her father's passion for Tianzhu chopsticks to the extent of quitting her job and joining the family business. Today's era of personalization has made it a consumer trend encompassing cultural and creative products. Under Wang Xuqiong's guidance, the factory has preserved its craftsmanship. But it also combines Tianzhu chopsticks with other handicrafts representative of Chinese culture. Their products have been sold throughout China and also globally. Meanwhile, the Xiuermin's Sha Wu wooden bowls are entering the bigger world in another way. World Wood Day 2018 
is taking place at Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Li Xuming sits on the giant wood-turning lathe, working the pedals. His skillful wielding of the bowl gouge draws a crowd of visitors. On the same day, Wang Xuqiong presents her father Wang Liandao with a new product. <laughs> Wang Shuqiong has paired the two elements synonymous with Chinese food culture, a combination infused with human wisdom and emotions that epitomizes the concept of home. There was never any fanfare about Tianju chopsticks, despite their stringent quality control process. Their inextricable association with home cooking is why they're most commonly seen on Hangzhou's dinner tables. The ingenuity of Li Xuemin has contributed to the distinct oriental charm of Sha Wu wooden bowls. Their humane craftsmanship, rather than fading, has scintillated for centuries. The bowl in the palm and the chopsticks in the hand are not simply eating utensils. Imbued with people's nostalgic memories, they also exude human warmth. <laughs> <laughs> 